All right, people, we are here at the first spot. I think we still got a couple minutes here before we can cast. Yeah, we got about four minutes before we can cast. It's not a whole lot of boats here today, but we're gonna make it what it is, try to win this thing. I feel really good about the conditions in comparison to the other day when we pre-fished. Also, I know you've already seen it, but shout out. So happy to have a GoPro on the back again because I've been missing fish catches like crazy. Um, also, sorry about the last video and me catching a three and a half pounder and losing the clip um big fish but it is what it is uh i still got to enjoy catching it this man with the amazing net job as always so but we're about to start here in about three minutes or so uh it'll be a seven to one derby it's best three you're allowed two small mouth and we're gonna see if we can come in hopefully with like 10 pounds oh, no. All right, first cast, here we go. I think we're both gonna start with top water. We had a bunch of blow ups the other day. We didn't really connect with a lot of the fish, but they were trying to eat it. So we're hoping top water is a good call this morning. We got a couple other ideas that we're gonna try at some point. But right now we're just looking for three keepers. We'll worry about culling after that. Not even seen a fish cruising yet. It might have pushed them back out. What the? F Good thing I didn't hook one. Holy oh, shit. My line oh, just. Oh no. It just was like, I'm done. It left the server. You grab that. There's a bass. Oh my God. Look at all the marks on that oh, fish. No. He's decent too. Here, I can grab it. Just drop it on his noggin. Trying to. I can't hardly see him now. I don't even know if it's a keeper, but it's definitely a fish. GoPro might even have picked that up. Well, guys, I was just reeling. Apparently, I tied a bad knot. <laughs> my, my complete knot just fell apart. And then we saw one cruising there. And Cody's jigging a spinner bait in its face, hoping it'll eat. It. <laughs> he probably was following your bait for a minute. Probably was. I'm glad he didn't bite it. <laughs> I'm doing. All right, guys. So we just realized we saw that fish cruising a second ago. As I'm retying my top water. But there's a male and a female locked on a bed here. The female's a keeper, I'm pretty sure. The male I'm not really really too sure about. But I think they look catchable. So I'm gonna tie up here and grab us an ed rig out of Cody's hand and make it flip into its bed after he gets done trying a couple times. I'm not a huge fan of bed fishing, especially in tournaments, but it's fish. We haven't had a bite yet, so we're gonna give it a go. It's not a big one, but like. Well, we'll give it a shot, right? Yeah, yeah I see. Circling. Yeah, I think it's coming out. There's the other one. That's the bigger one. Yep. No interest. We catch the male, maybe the female will come off the bed. Oh, shit. Oh, Try the jig. I'll hold you here. Go ahead. So that's the male, I'm almost certain. And then the other one's probably the female. Yeah, one right over it. Yeah. You almost got to put it on the bed and just. Yeah, I know. Barely, I mean, barely even move your rod tip at all. I don't want to spend too much time because even if we catch it, once again, I don't know if this is even a keeper. The female's just yeah, kind of cruising. She said, fuck it. That's okay. It is what it is. Cool to see them on a bed, but I mean, it's a spot if, you know, later in the day when the sun comes out, maybe they, you know, we've been, we've been joking about a bite window, but it is a real thing. Sometimes they just aren't ready to feed when you hit them. But we might be able to come back later in the day if we don't have a keeper, you know, or we need another keeper and maybe catch those two. But now we're going to leave them alone. Everything. Oh, I see it. You got one? No. I got a stump. 
That was a good fish. Yeah, that was definitely a piece. This is a very good side, Dylan. We just gotta give him the back. Is that one on a bed too? Is the question. I don't see anything that looks even remotely like a bed here. Oh, but it was laying right here. Yeah, that was a good fish there. There's a bed. That's definitely a bed right there. Yeah, bud. There's one on it, too. Yeah, it's a little one, but that might be where that one is. So that was the thing that we saw earlier. Yeah. yeah. That's a little bitty male. Is that small man? I don't know. I can't That's tell. <laughs> it's crazy how much two days can change it. moving no fish here no bites saw a couple decent ones on beds the male pretty locked on the beds that we saw they're little though female some decent ones but nothing major and they're just not locked so nothing we can do at the moment we're gonna move see what we can do just all right guys we pulled up on this flat where i caught that big smolly the other day that unfortunately you all will never see but um it's just kind of a point it's got a flat on each side of it kind of tapers way out like i said i caught one fish here the other day it was a good bite there's a little wind pushing in on it we're gonna try it for maybe 20 minutes and then we're gonna move probably try to find some spotted bass just for the sake of trying to catch a couple keepers it's the large mouth they're definitely on beds but I don't think they're going to be very easy to catch off the beds. Nothing. Not even a nibble here. Not even a nibble period so far. I mean, we're only an hour in. We still got a little under five hours to go. Just hope we can stumble across a few. All right, guys. Spot number three of the day? No. No fish so far. First spot, we saw some on beds. To no avail. Second spot, there's nothing. We only fished it for like 20 minutes. I just wanted to throw an A-rig over it, really. Uh, I probably should put my trolling motor in the water so I can control the boat. Um, I'm gonna try this spot out. We caught several fish off this the other day. Nothing super big, but a couple keepers we saw. Cody caught a decent smallmouth, not an 18, but a decent one. Right now, I think we just need some even spots would be nice at the moment so i picked up the single swimmer just trying to get something to arise probably throw the a-rig some cody's gonna stick with the drop shot probably for a bit here we're just kind of hoping just fyi Decent fish. It's not even a bass. It's not a bass. It's not a bass. Oh, it is a bass. It's just a little smaller. Never mind. Well, first fish of the day. All right, all right. I thought it was a wiper or a white. Look at that poor fish. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's got a nice little frame on him. Look at him. I know. He's like deformed. It's, it's a fish, but we need them significantly bigger than that. or bottom or a stump or a tree limb or something. something oh, it was a fish. He's followed it all the way. Boink, 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 boink. Not a keeper either. There's a smaller. Listening to me rage. Take me back to my roots. <laughs> I don't think he'll keep a little spot. 
I don't think he's 12, but we will measure him. He definitely isn't, but yeah, he's 10 inches. I wish he was 12. He's chubby at least. See, bud. Oh, guys, fish number two. Little spot. If he was two inches longer, I'd be ecstatic right now, the way the day's going. Uh, it's good to at least get a couple of bites just for a little bit of confidence, but it's tough right now. I just got a obliterator right there. He just didn't eat it. I wouldn't have been able to really hook that one right there. It would just kind of been a set into kind of situation because nothing else you could really do. <laughs> oh my God. Took my whole, my whole bait. That was a good bite. I don't give a shit as long as it's a 12 inch spotted bass. He's better, but I got no idea on species. Smally. Ah. It's so frustrating. The only thing I can get to go is 12 inch smallmouth. Alrighty, I'm back. Glad I put that super glue in the boat today. Yeah. Well, that's three fish. nothing of merit two 12 to 14 inch smallies one 10 inch spot of bass they've all came on this little single swimmer which i did we caught some and you know i caught some pre-fishing the other day on it but it was just no good quality the other day really either but it's the only thing we've been bit on so far i've had several bites i think i've had a couple decent bites on it but they just the decent bite short strike it, of course, and then the small ones are the ones that get it. But I guess I count my blessings. At least I've gotten a couple bites now. It's it started off real bad, but maybe it's looking better. Hopefully, not unless I got the A rig in my hand. Or oh, I see. I, th I didn't know if he was on the cliff or where he was. Mm. Another smolly. He definitely is not. Well, look how I hooked him. Perfect. In the bottom lip. Huh? Golly. See you, bud. Like, Damn, let me go, bro. Another 14 incher there, guys. Does not help. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Smalling. <laughs> They're clobbering it, man, but no freaking size. Yeah, another 14 inch small man. Why can't there be a spot? Yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out. One piece of spot. That's all. Yeah, just, just just let me weigh one in. What's up, fellas? Sorry to interrupt. Um, didn't actually miss a clip this time. Just uh, happened to stop recording and uh, start re-rigging. Stood back up and we were about to pull off the spot. And a big just pile of bass just started jumping in front of the boat. So I just pitched my swim bait at him. Immediately got bit. Giant. Probably the biggest smallmouth I've ever hooked. Uh... I would have guessed it close to four or five pounds, um, but it popped off right at the boat. So no harm done. I guess it didn't miss too much, but that preceded us to continue fishing the bank for a little bit longer. So we'll just roll right back into where I left you all off. That's fun fucking real deep. Dude, that's so big. That's a 20 inch smallmouth, Cody. Nothing else I could have done. I don't know. 
Oh boy. All right, well guys, that was very disheartening. Very disheartening. That was a. Uh, I'm saying it was a five, but it probably wasn't. You know how it is. They look huge when you hook them, but it's a very large smallmouth. It's very easily a keeper. Uh, I hooked it good, or at least I thought I did, you know. Just saw it schooling out here and happened to cast her on top of it at eight, of course. Um, fought it well. It didn't really jump. It stayed down. It just pulled off. Nothing I can really do. I'm throwing this on a real small rod. It's only a 6.6 six medium so you kind of got to play them out but it just wasn't meant to be nothing really i can say about it i could cry yeah i can't i saw him come up and... uh, did you see how big he was yes. dude i mean he was at least and he's he's that. easy keeper yeah i was gonna say high threes he could be a four something there it is. It's like there it is. I saw I saw your rod let go and I saw your bait pull up. I was like, no. I thought it was Here's Not this time. Dude, they fight so hard. That's a big one too, yes, Cody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't think he's a keeper though. He might not be. I mean, he isn't. He's gonna be like 16 and a half, 17. Guys, that one's a little better, but I guarantee it's not gonna keep. That one's like non exaggerative. This one is way smaller than the one I just had hooked. I just need you to be 18 inches. I know you're not gonna be, but. Well, slightly bigger, about 16 and a half, 17 inches. And it's a good small mouth. It just doesn't quite measure. I've definitely figured something out though. Like the last couple were a little bit, a little bit better. But wish I could find some large mouth. Well, guys, per usual, I catch the non-keeper, lose the keeper. No shortage of the bullshittery factor. Yeah. We were about to move, but they're here. I just don't see a reason to move yet. We're going to give it a little longer down this bank now. Just hope one of them ends up being 18. That's all we can really do. All right, guys, we've moved again. We uh, left those schooling fish. Just, I don't have time to just sit there and wait. 20 minutes for them to come up and feed so i know there's big ones there maybe we stop back by there on the way out of here but i gotta go try to find some it's it's not going there so pulled up kind of went down a creek this just has some good rock on it it's a nice 45 degree angle bank i don't know never fished any of this but we're gonna try a little bit of it just to see Oh my God, dude. Like three pounds large, you followed the mag dress all the way to the boat. <sighs> Small mouth, he came up and just went about 15, 16 inches. Yeah, why well, can't I catch a largey though? Like, I'm sick of these small mouth right now. I just need a keeper, bro. That's the thing. Like, I really haven't had that bad of a day fishing. I've caught what six, five of which were smallies, and hooked a giant. Okay, guys, we got just over two hours to fish you know it i act like it's been a horrible day 
It has for Cody. He hasn't had, literally hasn't had a bite. I caught six fish down this stretch earlier and lost that big one. There were some fish schooling. It was a big school of smallmouth. They're in the area. We haven't seen an inkling of fish anywhere else on the lake. So why would we leave to go find fish when we're on fish? They're not big ones, at least not the ones I've caught, but there are some big ones here. We just gotta grind it and hope for a big one or a spot. Guess what it is? <laughs> another, yeah, turn around. another small mouth. Emphasis on the small. Golly, can I just catch one 18 incher? God, I tell you what, wish I'd hooked that big and like I hooked this one. Here, you can have that swim bait. Keep it, buddy. Okay, fellas, it's probably either our last spot or our second to last spot of the day. We fished this pre-fishing. We fished the other side of it, but we're gonna fish up kind of two, where the two lands meet here and kind of go across. And I don't know. It's kind of similar to what I've been catching them on today. There's a little less wind on it, of course, but it's similar. It's the only kind of stuff I've been bid on. I just haven't, you know, caught one that's quality enough. So I'm gonna try it. Water significantly clearer, of course, but we're gonna see. We can find one. What can do. Don't know. Yeah, it's decent. I got it. Look at the gut. Another smallie. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> What? The motherfucker is about to Give bust. me the scale. I just, I gotta know how fat or how much this thing weighs. That's the fattest fish I've ever seen in my life. That motherfucker is about to explode. Give me the pliers too. They're floorboard. I mean, my <laughs> God. That is the fattest fish I've ever seen in my life. Dude, that is crazy how fat that fish is. I got these fishy for you. 176 as like a literal 13 inch fish 176 i've never seen anything like that that is crazy i've seen the well water i was like look at his gut like a beluga whale it's like a junior size football literally he's brown and everything it's like one's large now yeah a little a little Another smallie. smallie bro. I've never caught so many smallmouth in a lake in my life. Squeaker. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> There's just zero wind. I mean, look how far down you can see here, man. Yeah. We'll fish a little bit of it, but. So you just make your mind up a minute. We'll go where they've been. <laughs> It's a spot. No, oh, it's a largie. Dang it. Well, I caught a large mouth. I just saw green and I was like, please be a spot. Nope. <laughs> well, trifecta's in the boat. Not helpful. Well, guys, I finally caught a large mouth. I was beginning to wonder the, if they existed in the lake, to be honest with you. Um, of course, he was about 11 inches still throwing this little swim bait it's the literal only thing i have had a bite on all day <laughs> cody hasn't even had a bite we got 45 minutes to go i'm really just hoping at this point we just come across the keeper i mean i don't feel like i've fished bad per se i lost the one real solid quality fish i've had a hold of that's the only one i've lost so like 
you know, I fished 95% today, but that one was the one. So it's tough, but it is what it is. I don't think I want to fish much more of this. It's just, there's nothing to break the water. There's no wind. This would be great if the wind was just blowing in on it. Super hard, but there's none. I think I just want to go there and fish that. Stupid ass little swim bait. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that thing right there is money, though. I guess so. Just throw these in the creek all year. Can't tell. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's a largey. That's a keeper. <laughs> oh my god. We did it. I think. Who the fuck's we? Got a mouse in your pocket. Please be 15. Just let me lay one in. I've had such an enjoyable like fishing experience day with no keepers. Please be 15. Yes. Thank God it's like a 17 inch large mouth. Uh -uh. Oh my God. I ain't weighing it. We'll figure it out at weigh in. Hey Cody, for when we call this one, he's on blue. Okay guys, mind you, it's not a big one. I mean, he's probably, he's probably about two something, but that's the epitome of two anglers that I will call out real quick, but uh, John B, keep fishing, never stop. And uh, Mike Iaconelli, never give up. We are 30 minutes left in the day and I finally caught a keeper. I've caught tons of fish today on this little stupid swim bait. And it's just good to finally get one in the box, really. All right, guys, we uh, are most likely on the last spot of the day. We got, looks like about 12 minutes to fish. Um, this little point right here, I mean, this is the ramp we put in on, but this little point right here with this rock and it comes way down to the water. Caught a couple decent fish there. I've missed a couple decent fish here. The wind's pumping in here pretty decent. It's not great. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be, but with 10 minutes left, a last ditch effort to hopefully catch one more keeper. I think this is not a bad idea, so we're gonna try it. Can't confirm, yes. Bro. That motherfucker. He looked keeper. I don't think he was that big, but it was definitely a decent smallie. It was a small mouth. Well, Cody, let's weigh my one little fishy in. I guess. No, that's a large man. Yeah, that's a large Okay. That's got pretty good enough. That's got the big sore on the side. Yeah, it is. Watch. There's one. Pretty good in there. He ain't got no... Nope. No, no gut. Gut but. or nothing to him. Or pores. Look at the, the gut on that sucker. That one. <laughs> Hanging on for dear life. There you go. All right, guys, we're just gonna keep it short and sweet today. I'm tired. He's wore out and didn't catch a fish, so it was a tough day. Shout out to Chris and Dwayne for catching a good bag. Uh, it never, it just never happened for us today. Uh, I had that one other big small mouth I lost. Caught that one large mouth. Never even really had a chance at another keeper. So it is what it is. We salvaged the day. At least we got some weight for AOI. Yeah, last minute. Just last time. minute. I mean, it's all right. Nothing special. Um, shout out to Six Cents for that little divine swim bait that's like three inches long. Because if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have caught a fish today at all. No. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this one. I mean, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.